what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it also hit that post notification bell for me so that you're notified every time i upload a new video be careful down in the comment section of the videos a lot of spam a lot of scammers i will never ask you to contact me by whatsapp or telegram i also do not invest money for my subscribers so please be careful don't get yourself scammed if you want up to 12 free stocks weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks when you open a new weeble brokerage account put at least one penny in that account they're going to give you up to 12 free stocks guys if you're interested in that offer after the video i want you to go down to the description box click on that weeble link Open it up your new Weeble account today. Guys, go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Well, guys, the question I've been asking myself, is the crypto market bubble popped? So if we look at Bitcoin, which is the, the leading crypto currency out here, Bitcoin currently right now guys is about 70 percent off of its all-time high see bitcoin about a year ago was trading in that sixty-five thousand dollars a coin range they're currently about nineteen thousand dollars a coin which in my opinion man is is crazy you're talking about 70 percent off of its all-time highs and then if we look at Ethereum, Ethereum right now is trading at about $1,570 a coin. Less than a year ago, man, Ethereum was $4,800 a coin. Again, another 70% off coin, which is crazy. That was just a year ago. And then you guys look at my two favorite meme coins, <laughs> Doge and Sheeb, they're even worse. So if we look at Doge, Doge all-time high last year reached, I want to say about 73 cents a coin. And right now it's trading at around six cents a coin represents an 80 percent decrease in value guys and then if we look at sheeb sheeb's even worse sheeb's off of its all-time high 86 percent 86 percent decrease in value for a Shiba Inu meme coin. That's crazy, man. So across the board, when it comes to cryptocurrency, man, the best of the best are, are, are off their all-time highs by 70%. And that would be Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then of course, all these little meme coins running around, they doing even worse. Now, Jim Cramer, from CNBC's Mad Money recently stated that I wouldn't invest my money in meme coins or altcoins. Basically said they're a waste of time. They're a waste of money. I don't know. Do I believe that? Eh, I, don't, I don't think they're a waste of money. I think what you got here is, at least for me, what I look at on these altcoins and these meme coins, I look at risk versus reward, right? Of course, you guys know I'm not a heavy crypto guy, but I do invest in Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. But the reason I invest in them is because I know the power of a small army getting behind a coin and running it up where you can make some money. That small army got behind Dogecoin and ran Dogecoin up to 
73 cents a coin. And a lot of people became millionaires behind that. So I, I know the power of people getting behind something and, and running the price up. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely aware of that. But when you look at fundamentally, you know, can, you know, Sheeb and Doge get to the point where Ethereum is or where Bitcoin is? I doubt that. And I think that's one of the things uh, Jim Cramer is saying, you know, don't hang your hat on, you know, building wealth with these altcoins and these meme coins. I think that's what he's saying. Of course, I'm not trying to put words in his mouth, but I think that's what he's saying. Don't hang your hat on it, right? Certainly don't believe he means that about Bitcoin or Ethereum because obviously those two are here to stay. The question is, the question is, is it an opportunity for Ethereum and Bitcoin right now with them trading where they're trading off of their all-time highs? heavily, heavily, heavily discounted, do they ever rebound? That's my question. I'm not sure about you, but that, that's the question I'm asking myself. Do they ever rebound? Do they ever get back to the glory days where they were the king of the crypto market? You know, do people ever have that type of faith in those two cryptocurrencies again? Because really, that's what drives up the price, right? There is no underlying uh, cash flow stream or operating company or anything of value other than what someone thinks they're worth, right? I know people say, oh, the blockchain and this and all. That's great. But really, Bitcoin and Ethereum value goes up when people believe it's worth more. And right now, people don't believe that. That's why it's trading at a 70% discount off of its all-time high so again man the question is has the crypto market bubble popped i think it has i think it has i i don't believe bitcoin nor ethereum get back to the glory days i think there'll be obviously cryptocurrencies that'll be around forever but I don't believe we have the run-up we had in 2021 again. I just don't see that happening for either of those coins. That's just my opinion. You guys drop me some comments if you disagree, but I think I think I think they've had their their best. Now, don't get me wrong, Bitcoin will still be a strong coin. I mean, it'll still be around and trade and 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 but but this whole notion of it's gonna take over the dollar and be the 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 currency of choice. Nah, I don't think that's gonna happen, man. Too much volatility in it, too much, uh, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's value is too, too much based on what someone thinks it's worth, uh, 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 other than it really having some underlying, strong, tangible factors that make it worth what it's worth. So when you look at a, 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 a company, where, where you can buy stock of that company, that's, that company has value because it, it, it makes something. It, it produces something. And then it, it sells that product or service and it generates what? It generates revenue, right? And then it generates profit, hopefully. So, so when I look at Tesla, even though Tesla may be down off of its all-time highs, I can go look at Tesla's you know, profit and loss statement. I can look at Tesla's balance sheet. You know, I, I can look at Tesla's statement of cash flows and, and, and see where the value is, right? I can see where the value is. And therefore, yeah, maybe it's trading less than it normally trades, but it still has that value. It's still producing that income, that cash flow. You don't have that with Bitcoin, right? You don't have any of that. So it's just worth what someone thinks it's worth. And I just don't believe Bitcoin or Ethereum ever get back to the glory days. That's my opinion. So yes, I believe the crypto market bubble has popped. Like I said, guys, I'm not saying it's not an investment. That's a good investment. I just don't think I would put all my money in it. I wouldn't hang my hat on 
cryptocurrency building my wealth to a point where I'm financially free. Now, can one or 2% of the population do that? Yes. People can get lucky and do that, be at the right place at the right time. But the majority of us, you know, 98, 99% of us, we ain't gonna get that lucky. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna get that lucky. So, so what you, should you be doing? I, I, traditional investments. Nothing wrong with having some crypto in your portfolio, but for me personally, I'm never gonna have more than 5% of my net worth in crypto, right? The rest of it is gonna be in traditional investments like, you know, individual stocks, ETFs, and index funds, and in cash, right? Cash reserve, and in real estate. That's where I'll keep my net worth, man. And like 5% of it will be in crypto because I don't believe crypto will ever get to a point like it did in 2021 where it was just soaring through the roof, right? I don't believe it'll get back to those glory days. So yes, I believe the crypto market bubble has popped. Well, guys, that's just my opinion. I'm sure you're gonna drop some comments down in the comment box and let me know your opinion. And, and, and I welcome that. If you want up to 12 free stocks from Weeble, guys, click on that link down in the description box and sign up for Weeble today and they're gonna give you up to 12 free stocks. Go get that free stock, man. Go get that free money. Stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.